Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India leadership theories uh, we have talked about uh, the leader member exchange theory then we have talked about the aor model also and in continuation of these different theory and models right as i have already mentioned earlier also that is you have to um, find out whether the which one uh, is the becoming the more and more uh, appropriate in a given situation uh, with the uh, your organization that you have to Mm, uh, uh, implement. But uh, basically what uh, we are discussing is there are different options are there and you can uh, opt any one option or the option with the modification as per your uh, situation you can do. In continuation of this today we will be talking about the Fiddler's contingency model, identify your leadership style, uh, situational favorability, uh, leadership effectiveness path goal theory, leader behaviors, follower behaviors, situational factor uh, and uh, as usual the case study, research papers and book recommendations. Now whenever we are talking about the Fiddler's contingency model, uh, then the contingency model recognizes that leaders have these general behavior tendencies and the specified situations uh, where certain leaders or behavior outlooks so may be more effective than others. Fiddler's contingency model of leadership is probably the earliest and most well known contingency theory is there. Now here I would like to mention the certain uh, your attention for the certain uh, keywords. For example, that this, this is the contingency model, you know? this is the situational model uh, is there. Hmm? And then there in, in this case in a specific situations, right? that is the you have to act accordingly. This is the beauty of this particular model. We have talked about the Herschel Blanchard's model last time, right? We have the maturity level, unable and unwilling, unable and willing, uh, able and unwilling, and able and willing, uh, telling, selling, participating in directing style of leadership that we have talked in the last time. Now, in continuation of that beautiful model, this is the another beautiful model by the Fred Edward Fiddler, which published in the book Management and Organizational Behavior Classics in 1993, right? And this this particular uh, model. Uh, they have two forces, leadership style methods and the situational favorability is there. As far as the Fiddler's contingency model is different from situational leadership theory, which maintains that leaders who correctly base their behaviors on follower maturity will be more effective. Now here, how it is different uh, from the situational leadership theory? Leaders who correctly base their behaviors on a follower maturity will be more effective. Whereas the contingency model, right, that is a situational leadership model theory it is Hershey and Blanchard's theory and that, that has been talked about the followers maturity. Now, whereas the contingency model suggests that leader effectiveness is primarily determined by the selecting the right kind of leader, right. right? So, therefore, in that case here the leader was having the different leadership style, here we are talking about the right kind of the leader for a certain situation. So, there in, in a particular situation who, 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 uh, who will be the right leader. So, in the so we identify your leadership style, identify the situation and determine the most effective leadership style. Fiddler believed that leadership style is fixed and to determine leaders general style or tendency. He developed an instrument called the least preferred co co-worker that is the LPC. List preferred co-worker. Who is the least preferred co-worker? The scale instructs a leader to think of the single individual with whom he has had the greatest difficulty to working. Now you see that is the there are the number of subordinates are the uh, are there or you can say followers are there and uh, then uh, as a leader you tune up with them um, with the different uh, 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 functions and uh, styles and interactions. Then uh, slowly and slowly you find uh, that is the you are comfortable with uh, some of the followers and you are uncomfortable with the some of the followers. So, leadership style 
and the followers maturity or followers uh, style of working is not matching and that will be the least preferred co-worker. And in the case of the least preferred co-worker, then to describe that individual in terms of a series of bipolar adjectives hmm, such as friendly, unfriendly or the boring or interesting and the sincere and insincere. So, this perception is developed. This perception is developed by the leader as soon as when he is having the interaction hmm, and therefore, the and uh, on basis of this interaction what is uh, coming out is difficult working. This difficult working which is creating the sincere and insincere right. So, um, of course, um, these are also the examples have been given friendly and unfriendly and boring and interesting, uh, but uh, as far as the, my opinion is concerned, um, I will uh, share my experience that is the um, uh, yeah ok up to certain extent friendly and friendly is ok, but basically we are talking about the superior subordinate relationship, leader follow relationship. So, leader follow relationship is uh, friendly. However, we say that is the um, my behavior is friendly, but do not treat me as a friend, I am your boss. And the boring and interesting is not the question according to me, because the job has to be done uh, and uh, we are the organizational employees. So, what is the boring and what is interesting? It is a very, very personalized opinion. The job is to be done, whether it is the boring or it is interesting. The leader has to get work done. So, um, I discard uh, this uh, boring, interesting uh, um, uh, to uh, find out the least preferred uh, co worker. Rather than this is becoming the most important dimension, which I will would be. Mm, uh, as a um, personally means uh, my comment is this mm, that is the this will become the um, for me the while analyzing uh, suppose somebody I, it is a 8 point semantic difference scale is there. So, if you are using this scale ok some may be unfriendly little bit mm, some may be uh, boring little bit, but if he is the insincere even little bit then that will be problem for me. Right. So, therefore, in that case uh, here the what uh, least preferred co-worker if the person is insincere then it will be difficult for uh, some leaders to um, work in sincere, but of course, it will depend on personality to personality. There might be the certain leaders those who, uh, who will be looking more towards the friendly. No, because the friendly behavior with the subordinate that is also creating the ease of work. Hmm. So, that might be the priority is there. So, uh, based on their least preferred co co-worker score, leaders are categorized into two groups, low least preferred co-worker leaders and the and the high least preferred co-worker leaders are there. In, in, in the case uh, in, uh, terms of their motivation hierarchy, low uh, uh, co-workers leaders are motivated primarily by the task. So, work is important, the job is to be done, you see what is required is that is the um, uh, ultimately delivery of the job is very, very important. Uh, so, therefore, um, uh, the, it is the uh, leaders are motivated primarily by the task, whereas the high least preferred co-worker leaders are motivated primarily by establishing and maintaining the close interpersonal relationships. So, it will be the task oriented and it will be the people oriented is there. So, low list before co-worker leader motivational hierarchy will be like this that is the task and the people, because they are motivated primarily by the task. High least preferred co leader motivational hierarchy, here the people are concerned. So, the pyramid will come like this, and they here the people are the, uh, um, the having the priority because of the close interpersonal relationships are there. Therefore, these are also called as the task oriented leaders and relationship oriented leaders are there. So, least preferred co workers are motivated by the task or by the, uh, uh, the people's interpersonal uh, relationship is there. Now, here we have to also see that is whenever we are talking about uh, this uh, uh, task oriented and the relationship oriented leadership, then how the situation is developed. The second aspect in the contingency model is situational favorability, which is the amount of control the leader has over the followers, means one side the leadership style task oriented and relationship oriented and another side is the situational favorability. Fiddler included three sub elements in situation favorability, these were leader member relations, 
task structure and positioning power is there. So, these were the di three dimensions are there. The leader member relations are the most powerful of the three sub elements in determining overall situation favorability. They involve the extent to which relationships between the leader and followers are generally cooperative and friendly or antagonistic and difficult are there. So, therefore, it, it becomes very, very important that is whatever the relationship is developed between the leader and followers, they are generally uh, that has to be cooperative and friendly or if it is not then definitely the another uh, chance of that uh, particular relationship will be leader member relationship will be that is the antagonistic and difficult. Leaders who rate leader member relations as high level, they have the support of their followers and can rely on their loyalty is there. Second is the task oriented and third is the positioning power. Now, the task structure, the task structure is second in potency in determining overall situation favorability. What type of the task is there? So, exactly what is uh, analyzed? Here the leader objectively determines the task structure by assessing whether there are detailed descriptions of the work products means uh, you see that is the uh, the competency of the follower by doing that particular task uh, that is the detailed structure of these um, work products, standard operating procedures SOPs are objective indicators of how well the task is being accomplished. Wonderful. So, here we are talking about the quality of the task and therefore, in that case if the detailed description of the work product is given standard operating procedure SOP is given or the objective indicators of their task is being accomplished, then definitely in that case you will find um, that is the, the task structure becomes the important. The more one can answer these questions affirmatively, the higher the structure of the task and when it is with the, the questions are not that much affirmatively, it will be having the low, st low structure of the task. So, there will be the high structure of the task and there will be the low structure of the task. There will be the good relationship, there will be the poor relationship. Third dimension is the position power. So, position power is the weakest of the three elements of situational favorability. Leaders who have titles of authority are rank the authority to administer rewards and punishments. This is very, very uh, motivational uh, factor. Um, what leader will give us? You see, whenever we are talking about the influence of behavior, so there is one dimension that is the uh, return on the investments ROI and that return on investment is that whatever I am doing, what I will get in return and therefore, it is about the to administer the rewards and punishments. Whether the if the uh, leader is competent enough for the rewards, then definitely in that case the leader will be having the um, uh, uh, the more uh, positive power. But when there will be the punishments will be there, then even because of the fear, the follower will be having this type of the um, uh, prob, uh, the uh, fear and he will follow the leader. The legitimacy to conduct follower performance appraisals have greater position power than leaders who lack them. So, definitely in that case those who are having the power of the reward and punishment. So, this type of the leaders they will be having uh, the high position and they will be having the low position uh, in, in those who are lacking into the uh, uh, giving the rewards and punishment both. If the, if the leader is not having that power then his position and power will be weak. So, here leader member relationship that is the good and, and here it, it is the low is there. When task structure is there, it is structured, unstructured right and it uh, structured and unstructured is there. Positioning power will be high low, high low, high low and high low is there. So, therefore, in this octant uh, figure contingency model octant structure for determining the situational favorability will be there. So, leadership effectiveness depends on both the leader's style and the favorable, uh, favorableness of the leadership situation. Uh, some leaders are better than others in some situations, but less effective in other situations are there. To understand contingency theory, therefore, we need to look first at the critical characteristics of the leader and then at the critical aspects of the situation is there. Now, here this is the Fiddler's model. It is very, very interesting you see. Now, this L right. So, therefore, this is becoming the task oriented. This blue, this is relationship oriented. Now, the situation is situation number 1, this is first 
1, 2, it is given 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Situation number 1, leader member relations that is good. The task structure is high and position of power is strong. Right? So, whenever we are talking about this particular uh, uh, relationship uh, situation number 1, what type of this leadership is preferred? Yes, you are right, this is task oriented is preferred. This is a performance. Hmm? So, performance is high here, performance is low here, this is low, this is high. Similarly, whenever we are talking about the relationship is there, right? So, this is the favorable this is moderate, this is unfavorable. So, this is the favorable situation, this is the performance is high, when you are having the good relations, high trust structure, leaders positioning power strong. I have the question for assignment for you. Why Fiddler has preferred these task oriented for high performance? Why relationship is not there? Because relations are good, so, he could have suggested these uh, uh, blue line also for the high performance, but he has advised which style of leadership will work, task oriented, task uh, uh, oriented uh, leadership style will work. Why? Yes. So, the reason is this is the everything is favorable. Puri kainat aapko safal banane ke liye judi hai. Your relations are good, your task structure is high, your position of power is strong and as a result of which this time you should not be idle. Mat chuke chohan wali sthiti hai hai. This is the time when the make haste when sun shines, right. So, this is the most favorable situation and you should be task oriented leader. So, whatever the uh, it means what? Whatever the goals or objectives you will decide, people will follow, they will give the results and organizational effectiveness, this performance will be high. But I will like to give a one warning here, that is the in the case you go for the relationship oriented because everything is favorable. So, do not be come into the comfortable zone, this, this is not the time for the comfortable zone, you are supposed to be very, very prompt in action and that is a task oriented and then you see where you take the your organization, you will take your organization to at very high level, your effectiveness will be maximum. Interestingly, the when we come to the situation number 8, I would like to come to the situation number 8. It is leader member relationship is poor, task structure is low, position and power is weak. What type of leadership is suggested by the fiddler? Here also the task oriented is suggested. Now, situation number 1 and situation number 8, here also it was the high, here also uh, means task oriented, here also it is task oriented. However, the situation 1 is very favorable, situation num number 8 is totally unfavorable. So, what is the reason? The reason is this, that is the whenever we are talking about the totally unfavorable situation, it is only you have to get involved in your job, come on time, do your job and leave the workplace, nothing else. Apne kaam se matlab rakhe aur kaam pura kare aur chale jaye because relationship is poor, boss ke saath relationship achhi nahi hai, is liye bahut jyada kisi cheez mein nahi You need not to be get, get entangled into the unnecessary problems and therefore, in that case it is the situation number 8 is becoming very, very important. However, when you come from situation number 8 to situation number 5, here what type of the relationship is suggested? Relationship oriented is suggested. So, therefore, in that case you will find that is the whenever you are talking about this particular situation number 5 relationship oriented. Why? Because what is the situation? Relationship is poor task structure is uh, high, position power is strong, but the leadership is the poor question mark. So, what you can do to be effective leader? You develop the relationship. 
keep a good relationship with your subordinates, your followers, try to understand them because the task is high, position power is strong and then if you develop that relationship. So, what will happen when you will have this, uh, this poor, when you will convert this poor into good, where you will reach? You will reach to the situation number 5 to situation number 1. Because you are, you are writing here good, writing means you are developing the good relationship. So, it is good, it is high, it is strong, it is good, it is high, it is strong. So, very, very important for leader to understand is most favorable situation task oriented, the least preferred situation poor, low and weak again task oriented, but the here understanding of task is different. And when you are having the situation number 5, where the moderate situation is there, so develop the good relationship. And when you will develop the good relationship, you will be having the favorable condition situation number 1, one and that is the golden time of your career. right? So, therefore, what I will suggest is that is the, it becomes very, very important that is a, you understand the situation, how is your relationship with your boss or your subordinate, what type of the department or section you are working or what is your position, can you give out rewards and punishment or not. If you cannot give the rewards and punishment, who will listen you, nobody will listen you. So, then that time it is ok, fine. So, our task structure is what? What is task structure? Task structure is, uh, is low. Uh, or maybe task structure is uh, you can take the situation, I would like to take the situation uh, number 6, where the task structure is high, but position power is weak because we are not able to give this. So, in spite of the poor, you go for the good. So, therefore, it will be a, a situation number will be which one? When you your position power is weak, your task structure is uh, high right? and then you develop the good relationship. So, where you will come? You will come here and when you will come here, what type of leadership? Task oriented. Again task oriented is there, dear friends. So, therefore, please understand that is the uh, accept this particular zone, right. You are supposed to be the task oriented and in this zone you are supposed to be relationship oriented according to the situation and this is the wonderful model um, which the fiddler has given and uh, therefore, we find that is the yes um, on the basis of uh, this particular task uh, uh, relation uh, with the members and the position and power uh, this, th this theory model will be working. The another theory model that is a path goal theory. Path goal theory discusses how leaders motivate followers to accomplish goals by enhancing follower performance and follower satisfaction. Now, here you can see that is this is a path, follower follows the path and achieves the goal. So, what the leader does? The leader defines the goals that is where he can on, on basis of what he can decide the goal, the availability of valued rewards for followers. Right. So, therefore, in that case, we help the follower identify and remove roadblocks. So, suppose here is the roadblock is there, then, then the clarify the path, hmm? here is the obstacle, he starts work, working on this and he is not able to reach here, here is here he, he comes down. So, therefore, clarifies the path and remove the obstacles and as soon as he removes the obstacles by providing the support, he again comes to the path and he achieves the goal. So, therefore, in that case the path goal theory leaders can help followers to, path, to identify their path by selecting specific behavior associated to the followers and according to situations by working on this and they can get the appropriate behavior is required. So, leader increases the followers ex, uh, expectations for success and satisfaction. The leader section should strengthen followers belief that if they exert a certain level of effort, they will be more likely to accomplish a task and if they accomplish the task, they will be more likely to achieve some valued outcomes are there. So, there are the different behavior in the path goal theory. One is the directive leadership that they are expected to do, how to do it, when it is to be done and the supportive leadership is there which is having the courteous and the friendly interactions expressing genuine concern for the followers well being. Right? It is always that uh, nowadays you are talking about the well being of the followers and when you are concerned with that, then definitely in that case you will be having the better uh, uh, outcome in the path goal theory is there. Then you can have the participative leadership is there, uh, engage in the behavior that marks the consultative. 
because many times what happens there is a follower is not able to communicate properly that is a, what is the problem and then in that case it is more and more the participation is required and their suggestions concern and recommendations can be given to the follower that is the you do like this and then the things will be improving. Achievement oriented leadership now here uh, one thing uh, which I will uh, like to remind you what is the difference between a leader and leadership? Leadership is a process. So, here whenever I am giving these suggestions according to these theories or I am narrating these theories, then at that time please uh, understand that is uh, uh, the reciprocation is required from the follower also. A leader may try, but if the follower does not try, then there it will be incomplete leadership and right? that is why the situation is very important. Then the achievement oriented leadership is there, uh, they would be set challenging goals for the group and follow behavior, continually seek ways to improve performance and the followers always perform at their highest. And the characteristics in the path goal theory are followers the locus of control, locus means place of control, internal locus of control that is a self belief, external locus of control belief into the external environmental factors, need for affiliation that is the there is a need uh, for the developing the relationship and uh, uh, maintaining the relationship and the preference of structure is there. So, how leaders behavior interpreted by the follower is we in this context that is the whether the desire for control is there or not there is a uh, relationship is not and preference of the structure is there is not and then uh, followers perception of their own skills. This is very very important what I was talking about that is unless and until you are the followers perception of their own skill you are not concerned then definitely in that case it will be very difficult to get the leadership complete. So, path goal theory consists three situational factor task formal authority system and primary work group independent motivational factors constant on the behavior of the followers and the rewards are there. So, this is about the one case study uh, the manager of a small business called the copy center uh, near a large university uh, employs about 18 people most of whom work part time while going to school full time the store caters to the university community by specialization in course packs also provide desktop publishing and standard copying that is a uh, copy center is there to other national chain copy stores in the immediate vicinity of the copy center. The store does, not, uh, does more business than both of the other stores combined. A major factor contributing to the success of this store is the Daniel's leadership style. What was the leadership style? That was the uh, whenever the students were approaching to Daniel uh, work on their class schedules and Daniel has a reputation for being really helpful with working out uh, the schedule conflicts. So, therefore, indeed if it is not like this that I will work from this period to this period only he was very cooperative and making the changes uh, uh, into the schedule uh, according to the convenient of the, the, the followers. Daniel is also uh, always willing to juggle schedules to meet the needs of everyone. Students talk about how much they feel included as if Daniel makes the store like a second family for them. So, that, that is becoming the very very comfortable situation is there. I would like to give the example here of my cameraman uh, Mr. Pankaj. So, therefore, we are having the different classes timing and he is always very cooperative whether it is a Saturday or whether it is a morning or evening as per the after our class schedules. So, he is very happy to adjust during the lunch time especially you know, because the most of the time common time which comes out for the uh, recording that is for me is the lunch time and he is always ready. So, therefore, this is a helpful with working out the schedule conflicts are there. So, it is not like this that is the working hours are this and during lunch time uh, I will not uh, be able to do. So, therefore, less working hours are there it is not like this. So, work at the copy center divides itself into two main areas duplicating services and desktop publishing. In both areas Daniel's leadership is effective. Duplicating is a straightforward preparation taking a customer's original and making copies of them because this job is tedious Daniel goes out of his way to help the staff make it tolerable because this is a more tedious job. So, they have, but he is helping them a friendly work atmosphere by doing such thing as letting the staff wear casual attire then Daniel spends a lot of time each day conversing informally with each employee. He also welcomes staff talking with each other he has the ability for making each worker feel significant even when the work is insignificant is there. So, that behavior of the leader that and we can imagine from this case study the environment which he creates in the desktop publishing area is more complex than duplicating it involves the creating business forms advertising pieces and resumes 
problems. So, therefore, it is challenging work is there. So, satisfy customers, most of the employees in this area are the full time workers. Though um, through the years, Daniel has found that the employees who work best in desktop publishing are very different from those who work in duplicating. Now, you see always that is uh, those who are competent, uh, their behavior will be also you will find a different quite independent, self assured and self motivated uh, and you can understand the meaning of this uh, and therefore, they will independent means they, they will do the work as they want, self assured means the, the way they know the job they will do in, and that is the best way and the self motivated is mean that is the we will do it according to ourselves. So, in supervising them Daniel gives them a lot of space, <laughs> you also please understand the meaning of this leadership styles right. So, therefore, give this space for the competent uh, people because they want their own style to perform when they need help, but otherwise leaves them alone, otherwise do not touch them. So, role of being the resource person for these employees, if an employee is having difficulty on a customer's project, the willingness join the employee in, in troubleshooting the problem. So, therefore, but you, you see the competent persons can also have the problem. So, then join them to solve the problem. If one of the staff is having problems with the software program, Daniel is quick to offer his technical expertise. So, because the employees in desktop publishing are self directed, Daniel spends far less time with them than the, those who work in duplicating. Overall, Daniel feels successful with his leadership at the copy center, profits for the store continues to grow each year and its reputation for the high quality services widespread is there. So, these are the questions for you for the assignment to, to path goal theory, why is Daniel an effective leader? How does this leadership style affect the motivation of employees at the copy center? How do characteristics of the task and the followers influence Daniel's leadership? One of the principles of path goal theory is to make the end goal valuable to workers. What could Daniel do to improve the follow, the follow motivation in this area? Uh, this is about the research paper, um, which is uh, the importance of maximizing resources in institution to promote knowledge management practices, leadership uh, information technology right and the knowledge management and uh, here how the knowledge management is analyzed uh, concern about the industry, academic institution has not received much attention there it is an academic setting the authors develop research model by focusing on an academic institution is there. This is the author used structure equation modeling to check the research prototype. The finding of this is a show that the leadership style with path goal theory and the IIT are elements that support knowledge management program in university setting. The results of hypothesis are displayed in figure 2. Uh, so, therefore, that has been the examining the factors right and therefore, you will find that is the how directive, supportive, participative and achievement oriented style of the path goal theory which is uh, given the knowledge management practices uh, uh, and uh, this information technology which was based on the social media and internet access that ha has uh, been uh, uh, able to channelize that knowledge management with the path goal leadership style is there. To explore the CAM program, academic institutions, practical implications are there that will be helping you to share the encourage the knowledge sharing in university, managers, staff officers support to make standardization. However, uh, those who are from industry they can find out that is that uh, this will be helpful in the context that is the leadership style, whatever the you are the uh, auto, uh, authoritative style is there, participative or consultative style is there which you can use to achieve the goals. Uh, this, these are the books which have been referred. Mm, that is the uh, Fiddler's book, Fred, his own book that is the new approaches just to the effectual leadership and uh, this book is recommended uh, uh, clear understanding of why leaders are effective mm, and such elements as the leaders personal situation factors and stress which he has mentioned. These are the references which you can refer for your further uh, uh, more uh, readings and this is all about uh, the uh, Fiddler's leadership model and the path goal theory, contingency theories. Thank you.